I had the opportunity today to speak about evidence from recent clinical trials for the treatment of ankyl associated vasculitis, an area I've worked in for a long time with many of my colleagues here who attended this wonderful meeting. A couple of major points I tried to make. The first major point was we are now at the point in the research and evolution of clinical trials and research in ankyl associated vasculitis where randomized clinical trials are really the standard. This is taking some time as it does in all diseases. We've reached this phase because of several important factors, including that the ability to work together internationally in networks, that has been incredibly important, standardized outcomes for our trials, which have been adopted, the availability of funding from governments and through industry, and wonderful new drugs to combat the immune system. But combining all of these and the success we've had, we now have more and more clinical trials and these clinical trials have defined the standard of care as, as we know it. We now have a clear standard of care. The standard of care has been set by a series of clinical trials over the last 20 years. This standard of care has been outlined in recently published guidelines by the American College of Rheumatology and the Vasculitis Foundation, Frank Associated Vasculitis, and recently developed guidelines by ULAR that will be published later this year in ankyl associated vasculitis. They're similar, but they're worth looking at both. What's interesting is our guidelines have to change as we get more and more therapies and more evidence, which is good. I, I don't have time with this video to go through all the standard of care, but we now have it and we have options for our patients that allow us to use many fewer glucocorticoids, better therapy for longer time to keep patients in remission. We've really changed this disease from an acute, highly morbid, highly mortal disease to a more chronic disease, and the patients, thankfully, are doing much better. Final point I'd like to make about clinical trials in ankyl associated vasculitis is we still have more work to do. There are still unmet needs that we have to address. Although we are able to get to very low, lower doses of glucocorticoids, can we get rid of them completely? I think we're getting closer. Are we able to get people into remission much faster? Are we able to keep them in remission longer, perhaps without having to be on immunosuppression for so long? What can we do about preventing the infections? Some patients have very resistant disease. We need to be able to address those. We need safe therapies during the times of conception and pregnancy, and we want to cure this disease. We should aim to cure these diseases, and that's what our goal is.